Get ready for some crazy chandelier. Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. Welcome to the 12th installment of the Chandelier Sessions. This one's going to be a good one, boys. Buckle up. Make sure you put on some nice makeup so you look good for the ride. Huh? And you know, they're going to take your photo. They might try and sell it to you at the end. So if you haven't watched the series yet, I mean, if this is your first episode, we got a whole playlist you can check out. They're all in there. Get you starting at the beginning, including a tutorial on how the game works in case you want to know that too. So that being said, let's hop on into the game and I'll see you guys afterwards. Welcome back. We are here for the 12th installment of the Chandelar Sessions. It has been a while. Uh, I'm not 100% actually where I was in terms of my deck since it's been almost a week since we played. So let's take a look and see what we've got kicking around. We'll figure out where we're where we are and where we're going. All right. Ba -bum -ba -da. So. First things first, I guess we can trim some stuff we're not going to use out of here for now. So, 10 coins, never mind. Uh, let's just look at what's available and see if there's anything we want to play with for our green red deck. Hey, cool, a lich. Never going to play with it though, so I will take that cash. Alright, and Blaze of Glory. Never going to use you either. Take that cheddar. I don't care about cities of Brass. Do I have enough land wars? I do not. I should put in some more land wars. Oh wait, no, I switched them up for birds. Never mind. That's right. Okay, so scratch that. All right. Is there anything we want to put in? Not really. All right, screw it. I'll get rid of. It. Oh, apparently I want to sell something, so I'll sell those to get that out of my system, and then. Oh, there's that sweet treasure from last time. The Mox Ruby. Very nice. Okay. What are we going to do? Goblin Lord looking for blue cards. No thanks. So where are we at stat-wise? We've got 23 life. Not too shabby. Oh, we need food. Okay, let's buy some food. Let's, kind of wild. let's adjust that down a bit. All right. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we've got this going on and nothing I really want to shop for. So what are we going to do now? Do I want to try and take on a dungeon? Is that where we're going to go with this? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. How many ivory towers do I have? Do I have? Nah, you know what? I don't feel like getting into a full-on dungeon. Let's... We're not doing anything. Let's go look for this world magic. Cold Snap Tavern. Okay. Where's Cold Snap Tavern? Said south, didn't he? Oh lord. I lost my ability to use my brain. Got it booted out of there. Alright. South, okay. So it was south. Very well, good sir. Off we go. <clears throat> An aspect of wolf, you say? Well, I do play green, so yes. Yes, please. I'm going to try and steamroll you. Let's get a nicer looking background. There were people who asked me if there was ways to change the interface. This is where you can change your layout. So you can go standard or advanced. What does the advanced look like? Let's see. Oh, okay. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't show the big card. Well, that's not fun for uh, that's not fun for viewing. You know what I mean? Like I know what all the cards are, but you guys don't. So having this big card area over here is a good idea. All right. So let's go with the pattern and green because that's a nice. There we go. That's that's easy on the eyes for me. Oh, look at this hand. Wow. All right. Well, she is going to be quick work, boys. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Do we want to bolt her directly? Yeah, why not? We can always just fireball that Llanowar out of the way. Fireball that Llanowar out of the way if she doesn't have another blocker and swing it with a double giant growth um, Llanowar. If we can pick up... No, what am I talking about? I don't have enough mana for all that. Learn to do math. Okay, so uh, let's just swing with the Llanowar and see if she blocks. Alright, well... I guess we'll keep you alive. Drop a Lanoir. 
Alright. It'd be hilarious if she kept the card and went down to one life. Nice. Oh, sweet! Guys, that's amazing. For the next duel, I will have an extra mana to start with. What a nice setup. Alright, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's try out that aspect of Wolf. We'll toss it in and see how well it works out. I don't know how good it's going to be in this deck, but I mean, with 11 forests and the tie is counting, that's still 14 lands, so it might be a decent enough boost. Might be decent enough. Might also just be making the deck weaker, but who cares, we're going to have some fun too, right? Defeat a Sedge Beast for green amulets. Aren't we on a quest? No, that's right, we were looking for world magic. Okay. Man. Alrighty. Do I want to fight a Sedge Beast? No, let's let's continue looking for the cold snap. No thank you. I don't want to do it. And pass. Uh nope. Trade white amulets. No. Hmm. No, I don't have the the uh, Tome of Enlightenment. Never mind. Defeat a Warlock for fast effects. That's really easy. I mean, that seems really easy. I kind of got to. Unless I already... Did I already run into the Warlock and pay him to leave? Oh. Oh, that was not wise. I need a Warlock. That's one of the dangers of accepting a quest when you shouldn't. Chandor's Ring. Okay, we gotta, we gotta wander to the Swamplands until we find a Warlock. <sighs> Fine, I'll fight you. Oh man, if he was playing, if I draw, if I draw a mountain, I can put out a second turn Shiv and Dragon. Ah, boo! All right. Oh well. That would have been epic. Oh, oh man! Weak. Oh, you saved yourself from that Shiv and at least temporarily, pal. This is the toughest, um, the toughest black deck. Each color has a, um, has like a high level, the highest level opponent that offers no ante and has the most difficult deck and the most life and their life total increases as your life total increases. It's really annoying. All right, well, I guess we may as well start to use some of the stuff in our hand since uh, we've got that Wheel of Fortune. Let's do a big fat fireball. Ugh! Stupid, you have to tap that first, that's so annoying. Alright, boom. Take it to the dome! Oh, yes! Yeah! Eat that, pal. Eat that. Oh yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Hello, Black Vice. Mana Vault. Nice big, f another fat fireball coming for your face, buddy! Oh, I forgot about my sprite down here. Alright. Yeah, that's uh, way too little, way too late, buddy. Oh, I gotta remember, tap the mana vault first. Some, for some reason, you can tap the Falwar Stone, but not the mana vault because of stupid rules about the way the cards worked back then. Alright, so, we gotta find a warlock. Come on, warlock. There we are. Come here, come here. You got to die. Oh, yeah. A vice and a bolt against a guy with 14 life is not too shabby at all. Yeah. 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 Duck witcheling out a wand. That's hilarious. But, I mean, it did get his hand down to four, so he's out from under the vice, which is half decent. 
It's just funny that that's what the mana was spent on. Good old Thanos' wand. Talked about that in one of my videos, actually, in the video about Thanos. Oh, hello, Hypnotic Spectre. And a good goodbye, Hypnotic Spectre. Because I don't have much to... I don't have much to deal with that. <laughs> Another wand, all right. Okay, so we're playing a slow rolling game. Got it. Slow roller. I'm okay with that, considering I'm the guy with huge X burn spells. Oh, oh, you cheeky, you cheeky little monkey. I guess I'll just keep building up lands until I have something to get you with. Fireball. Oh, that stupid Al Hajjaj is going to give him life, though. How much fireball can I do? I can do an eight pointer. Ugh. All right. That's so annoying. Stupid Al Hajjaj. You're going to slowly but incrementally give the life back, so I do need to kill you off. All right, fine. So we'll do a fireball. And how much do I want to do? I want to hit two targets. So that's going to cost two. And then if we've got eight we're putting into it, that'll make x6 divided three each. Yep, and we're not wasting any extra mana. Okay. Oh, wait. Go tap that first. Okay, and then two targets. And bam, and bam. All right. I mean, not ideal, but look, let's untap that mana vault so we don't take damage. Another vice. Not useful now, but we do have two Wheel of Fortune, so. Merc Dwellers. Okay, I get it. I've got a lot of mana. Can I get, can I get another burn spell, please? Actually, that should be enough now to wipe him out if I pick up one burn spell. Can you hear the bugs outside? Creak, 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 creak. Since it's late at night. It's almost midnight. The witching hour. Is, that, is midnight the witching hour? Or is that a later night? Is that one? I don't even know what the technical witching hour is. I've never been a witch. There we go. There's a fat daddy burn spell. Kablow! 13 point disintegrate! Get wrecked, son! Uh, let's take the dungeon glue. Who cares about these cards? Regrowth, Berserk, and Forest Field. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, Power Struggle. Oh, God. Power Struggle. That's the worst one out of all of them. That's the Nightmare Dungeon. Oh, God. I hate power struggle. Great, I got a dark ritual, but I don't want it. I'll take it. Any red instant or green instant, what do we want? Uh, no, those aren't very exciting. Let's go red. And let's go big. Inferno! Yeah, haha. <laughs> All right, Inferno. Let's, oops, skipped by by accident. Let's sell that off while we're at it. Okay. Yes, let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, cockatrice. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I want you back in. All right. So off those rituals. Let's get some cash for them rituals, boys. Mm -hmm. Toss an inferno in there. All right. Off back into the grand world. Hmm, where the hell is... Where's the place to get that magic? South to Cold Snap Tavern. I can't go any further south unless it's down here. Alright, we'll go and explore the coast over there. Oh, good. A stronghold, that's always nice. Being forced into battles. Alright. 
Hey, there's a dungeon. Oh, that's all junk. Trade blue amulets for white cards. Don't want any. Begin a quest. Defeat a conjurer for white cards. Pass. But let's see what that dungeon is. That was the... It's not one of these. I think that's the Soul Champ Monastery. Oh, there's a Brain Geyser and a Sol Ring in there with no artifacts allowed. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to do a cheese run. Hey! Nice. I didn't even realize I was in the place I was looking for. That's amazing. I'm going to... Get out of here. I'm going to do a cheese run and see if I can get... Uh... I'm not going to try and beat this dungeon. I'm just going to quickly run in and poke around and see if I can get a... Uh free piece of treasure or something. Alright, air elementals are 4-4. Four, four. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'll take on. A black vice in the next duel and I gotta fight just him? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, uh, uh. Gonna get some treasure, although there's supposed to be three cards in each dungeon, so it's possible that what I get may just be gold and gems instead of one of the cards. We'll poke around in this dungeon and see if we can quickly grab the other treasure card. If I get a card, I'm going to try and actually grab the other card that's in here if it's easily accessible. But I don't feel like getting bogged down in a dungeon right now. This fight's going to be over in a second. Get in there, boy. Yeah, now it won't be able to take any life off me, ideally. Because life carries over in this, right? Your life total will carry over from fight to fight, so you want to minimize life loss. Normally, when I go into a place like this, I prepare by bringing ivory towers. Swing with the archers. And wheel. Nice. Now we don't have to take the possibility of him killing, hitting me during the upkeep. Alright, what's our reward, boys? Alright, the brain geyser. That's okay. I mean, we got one of the key cards, but it's not that exciting. Alright, let's just look at the other ways because I don't want to get bogged down in a lot of fights but I might be willing to do another one maybe hmm yeah you know what I'll do one more fight in here and base it off that so I'm gonna this area up here might be all right we'll see what happens all right first turn birds and so with the else fast bond is enticing but I don't want to be damaging myself right I'm not looking to win as fast as possible while taking damage I'm looking to win thoroughly without taking any damage comes with lots of extra clicking from Carly playing in case you think that I'm sitting there clicking a million times while the computer's going <laughs> little it's like it's just spinning away and you can hear like a hundred clicks I'm like hurry up okay well, I guess we will bolt the raider. Cast the fast bond just to have it. I mean, we're going to be wheeling shortly anyways. At least we got the brain guys. I would have preferred the soul ring though, obviously. Soul ring is going to make my deck even stronger. Yeah, the Sol Ring actually is worth putting in that extra effort for. This might, you know what, it might be, it might be okay to turn this into a full-on dungeon run the more I think about this. The more I think about it. Okay. Hell, whatever, I'm going to wheel anyway, so may as well use this too. All right, OK. 
Okie dokie, Lanoir. Wheel benefits me clearly a lot more than him, considering that he has already six cards in his hand anyways. Did I already lay a land this turn? Nope, good. I can't play my normal strategy in this dungeon, which is to try and gain life and build it up because I didn't come in prepared. And I think actually this dungeon is the one that doesn't let you use artifacts. Oh, there we go. Fat daddy. Well, the Shivan Dragon will make quick work of him. Oh no, mountain, oh no, mountain walk. Oh, God. Yikes. Okay, we got to finish him off now. This game has to end. All right. So what are we going to do? One, two, three, four, eight point. Yeah, okay, that's it. Man, that hurt. Nope, bailing. Not doing that. Uh, go west to Cold Snap for a blue amulet? Sure, why not? I will take that quest, pal. Um, you know what? I'll duel you just for more clues, buddy. Alright, this is an okay start. I'm wondering how much I need these discs. I haven't run into a ton of threats that I haven't been able to handle. Hey, Black Vice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're just going to keep asking me, so screw it. I'll drink with him now. Let's get in there. Alright, so we'll do a four point fireball and pass the turn. Hey, nice, a dual land. Screw it, I'll take that. Uh, Unicorn Hall is under attack. Okay, well, let's go get our reward. And Unicorn Hall is way up there, so we obviously need to teleport. Oh, wait, wait, where's Ferenian Tower? God, where's Ferenian Tower? I want that magic so bad. Um, is it near here? I don't see. I don't know where it is. Ugh. Alright. I want to see if I can see a tower anywhere nearby really quickly before... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll duel you. Do I want to change the anti-card, though? Nah, screw it. You know what? I'll risk it. I want to duel you because if I beat him, he might let me duplicate a card. And if he lets me duplicate a card, I've got some nice cards to duplicate now. And a first turn vice is a great way to start the game, baby. That's right. Cast your spells in fear. Cast them. I've got an inferno in my hand, too, and a mana vault. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's amazing. I've already got six mana towards it as well. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a... Oh, a nice turtle, buddy. You got a nice turtle. Uh, well, why not put out the face bound? Stupid turtle actually is stopping me from getting him with my wolves. I'm making fun of it, but it's holding me back. Oh, it looks like we're in Inferno Town. Yeah. 
but you are playing counters, probably, so I'll probably wait until you tap out. I like doing that. All right. Hmm. Well, I mean, may as well. Okay, now of course I can tap. That's so confusing. Why can I tap at that, but not for the fireball? What's the matter with you, game? Maybe it's just a bug. Oh. I'm glad I don't have any islands. I'm also glad I have a bolt to just end it! Come on, duplicate. Come on, duplicate. Come on, duplicate. Ugh. Okay, quickly look for the tower. Don't forget we're trying to defend a town. Toughness of Elvish Archers? Like I don't know Elvish Archers, baby! Ugh. That's a disappointing find. Alright. I'm gonna grab these two treasure things. Oh! Oh, that hurts! Half my white amulets. Not worth a lifeblood. You. I hate you. All right, let's 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 just go hang our head in shame. And save the town. Oh, he starts with a shapeshifter? What? Get out, man. Oh, thank God. Please keep it as a zero seven. Get beefed, birds. Yeah, zero two birds now, baby. If he makes it a one six, he can't come at me. Oh, yeah, now it's a one two flyer. Get you that first blood. Get you some. Oh, get out of here. Oh, God, it's going to be one of those games. Oh, no. Oh, no, Mama, no. Oh, it's just going to get worse and worse. Oh, it's just going to get worse and worse. All right. Uh... It's just, you know what, we're going to wheel to get a new hand anyway, so let's disintegrate that uh, shapeshifter out of here. I do not want to lose this town, boys. Oh, good, you're doing dumb garbage like cloning an apprentice wizard. Thank you. Of fortune, save me, baby. Save me. Oh, oh, get him in there before he can start casting his stuff, son. And you know what? Let's save a bolt for a factory, I guess. Yeah, chew off some hit points. Good, oh, good God. Artifact much? Yeah, lose that land. disc because clearly it's going to be about time to wipe the board soon. Ah, I'm going to take a point of burn. Damn it! God. 
What a beast! Oh man. Oh, I guess I get to keep my birds after the disc. I suppose there's the silver lining. Good lord. This is brutal. Alright, so. Uh, yeah, let's just set off the disc, shall we? Alright, now the game actually goes to looking out decent for me. Yeah, I do actually have a second channel for anybody who doesn't know about it. It's called Hatch, where I do uh, just videos that I think are fun or funny. So, check it out! I'll probably link it at the end of the video. Alright, so coming in with the assembly worker. Do I want to block? Not particularly. Hey, Granite Gargoyle, I forgot you were even in here. It's been so long since I've seen you, buddy. Alright. Get that point of damage in there. Why did the bird stay? The bird stayed because he had a Tonos' coffin out. He removed my birds from the game. That's why there were little slashes over for a little bit of time. And it was like uh, looking kind of translucent. And then once I set off the disc, it destroyed everything in play. Once the Tonos' coffin went, it returned my birds to play. Tatravis, big brief. All right. Man, he sent, they sent over a, a heavy hitter. Let's see. Let's see what happens if I attack and band. He'll probably let it all through. Alright. Uh, fast effects assign attackers. I will just throw this birds in the way. Give myself a little more breathing room. swing for four or just you know what let's just swing with the timberwolves we'll keep the granite gargoyle back to block that tetris yeah i'll trade one of my wolves for your land there thank you very much thanks for removing one of the threats i was concerned about oh no mama no Block him. Oh, thank you. The village is saved. Yes. Whoa. That was, uh, that was interesting. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. And I want a shapeshifter. Okay. Defeat a Tusk Guardian for enchantments? Eh, I don't know about that, pal. I don't know. All I know is that for now, that's the end of this Chandelar session. So I'll see you right over in the next part of the video, friends. All right. Well, I gotta say that that day, that, uh, that Chandelar session went pretty well. Let's see what the six colors up to today. My name is Andre, and together we are the Six Color of Magic. And that just leaves one thing, my friends. Time to roll that scroll. Here come my golden load. You better join them now. All right, so what's up next? You want some more chandelier? It's over here. Or you can have some fun over me. And I'm history, baby.